Hello there. Welcome back to Mama Jar Beauty. I'm the ghost of Christmas present. I assume that she's like a, tr a transgender person with a deeper voice. I don't know, it's really, really cool. I love it. Anyway, this is a very easy look today. Another series on the holiday 2017. The focus is the glow. Literally, it's the focus is the glow. The eyes, I made sure I kept it simple. Again, you just wanna highlight for the bejesus. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. Now let's get started. We're gonna actually start off with the face instead of the eyes, only because the eyes are so freaking easy. It's like not even a thing. I actually wanna focus a little bit more on the, the skin, if you will. All right, I wanna get that golden glow for this look. And speaking of golden glow, this is the golden glow the complexion highlighting kit. I discovered this in Ross. That's right, Ross Dress for Less. Uh, they do carry a lot of amazing things. Ross here on Guam is amazing. So this is from JLB Cosmetics. I, I know I see a lot of their products on the shelves and everything, but surprisingly, there was one that was open and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna swatch it. So I swatched it. And let me tell you, I was like, bro. I'm gonna get this palette. This was only $6.99 and they are not tested on so they are actually animal cruelty free, if that makes any sense to any of you, because it's been a huge movement on um, animal cruelty and vegan products and amazing thing. And so here are the colors and they even have this amazing giant size mirror and here they are. It's really, really, really gorgeous. The pigmentation alone is seriously uh, amazing. One of my favorites is Amber and gold mine, which is these two colors right here, and I'm gonna swatch it for you right now. This is without any wetness, and let me tell you, it's creamy. So this is amber, the first one. You can see it. Look at that, holy cow. And then the second one is called gold mine, and I'm gonna do that right here. Look at that. Those are so far my favorite two colors on this palette only because it really matches my complexion. And so that's exactly what we're going to do here on the Mama Shara Beauty channel. Now, I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush and this is basically a huge blending brush. This is from Morphe, the M509. And I'm gonna take some of that gold mine right here. It's really, it's seriously like, the pigmentation is amazing. So I'm trying not to get a lot, but I actually want to be golden, especially for this look, because as the ghost of Christmas present, it's basically showing you that this is the golden year. I mean, if I wanted to be hella literal on this ghost of Christmas present, I would literally have a cell phone with me, some Starbucks with my iPhone, and just be like, oh my God, so like, you know what I mean? But I want to keep it kind of, sort of, traditional. So if you know where you put your highlight, I'm gonna put it right where my cheeks are. So I did spray a little bit of Fix Plus on it because it works really well wet. We're gonna add highlight, of course. This is not like, this is not highlighting, but you know what I mean? Almost like contouring with it, if you will. <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking, like, boo, like you're already a shining beacon of hope. I ain't done yet. Okay, we're gonna now highlight as if we're not highlighted enough. And no, I just feel like I really want to go BAM! This is Whisper of Guilt from MAC Cosmetics and taking the M510 from Morphe. And we're just gonna, you know, a little bit on this, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And we're gonna highlight. I like how this looks. But yes, please get yourself one of these brushes. I think, to me, is <laughs> worth every penny. And it's affordable, just saying. Do, do, you, do, you, do you see this? I'm like a freaking filter right now. But taking my E17 also from the amazing brand called Morphe. Uh, brushes. I'm actually gonna highlight my brows now. I, I've been loving the fact that, um, no, it's funny, I never usually highlight my brows, which is kind of freaking weird why I would never, but I guess it's just, I wanna say forget, 
really, really, sometimes I really do forget, like, like I forget to highlight my inner corner, you know, because sometimes if it's not needed, I'm like, F it, it doesn't need to be there. But yeah, it really ties in the entire look. Okay. Now, going in with my 219 from MAC, taking some more of that whisper of guilt. Because she knows, like, hey, I'm guilty. Get it? Because whisper of guilt. No? Okay, well, we're going to highlight for the gods of the nose. So I, I just want to feel, you know, like, do you see that? I just want to put that dot. Ooh, good god. It's amazing. I just want to feel like Rudolph, except gayer. Now, of course, after the nose, you want to get into the cubist ball, all right? The cubist ball needs some love and too, boo. Important role in your makeup look. All I know is I look like a freaking statue. And I love it. I'm in love with the stripper. Now, let's get into some eyeshadow realness, taking the color right here, and that is called Saddle. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create the transition color on your eyes. If you don't know what transition color is, it's basically if your eyes are open naturally, and then you'll see, like, you know, it just, you really emphasize and really help your eyes pop out, like, pop out. Yeah. Let's get into that. Now that saddle with the Morphe M504, it's this really nice blending brush from them. I just want to soften this baby up. And the blendability of this color is like butter, you know? Like all MAC eyeshadows, to me, I feel is beautiful. Maybe not some of the formulas like from the collections, I don't know. There's just sometimes I feel like the collections are different from the single colors. I can't, I know I can't be the only one who's noticed it. I think a good example is carbon. Like my carbon that I had a long time ago is so black compared to the carbon now. And I'm assuming new formulation, which is, you know, which happens to a lot of brands when certain ingredients need to be phased out because probably a law or they just want to make sure that it's it's much more friendlier to the skin because you know back then any ingredient um, was basically hell yeah let's go now going back to the eyes i'm just blending and i'm going to do the same on the under eye but i'm going to take a smaller fluffier brush because i want this to be almost very just seamlessly bam Okay, so now that you have your transition colors in from the top and then the bottom, I wanna brighten up my eyes even more with some Morphe eyeliner. This is in the color Coconut. Um, you can use a neutralizing pen or a neutralizing pen is like a pencil that's like flesh tone because sometimes white is a bit crazy for some people. I don't know. I like the white on the waterline for some odd reason. And I hate the fact that I have to do this face, but. It really helps, you know? Okay, now that you have your eyes brightened and white for everyone to see, let's continue on with the lids and taking the color Amber from the JLB palette from the Golden Glow Complexion Highlighting Kit. God, that's a mouthful. Jesus, my Jossie. Now, to avoid fallout, just press the eyeshadow on your lid instead of windshield wiper. It really helps make it easier on yourself, especially if you're like me and then we get really freaking messy. This is a great tip. Just press it on your lid. And especially if it's a little bit damped, it really sticks. Now we're almost done with the eyes, going back into the JLB palette and taking my Morphe E17 brush. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner because it's feeling kind of naked. Um, I'm going to, of course, wet it and set it and forget it. Okay, that was an epic fail. I, I, I don't know, I don't like it. So we're gonna go into my Whisper of Guilt. Yeah, why, why not? Because it never fails me, but Pearl failed me. You failed me. And it's all your fault, all of it. Okay, so the eyes are basically done. I'm just now gonna slap on some mascara and some lashes and we'll move on to the lips. 
All right, now obviously this eye look is very easy to do and it's a very great everyday, especially um, even for evening. If you wanna go with something classy, try the eyes. But anyway, before I forget, I forgot to put on blush. So we're gonna go into the amazing Illuminoso from Milani. It is a peach, peach luminous, literally like like you can't get any more luminous than this but girl like seriously it's a beautiful color i like i i love the fact that my cheeks look really huge when i put this on i'm literally just dabbing it on and bringing it up look at all of that powder yes 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 now let's set the face with some fix plus You want to drown in this, okay? You want to be like, oh no, I need to come up for air. No, I'm just kidding. Because I use so much powders, I want to set it. So it looks like butter. And speaking of butter, Milani's lipsticks, if y'all never tried this, get into it. It is so good and it is so affordable. This is the color 27 Dolce Caramello. And I'm going to use that on my lips, but I'm gonna line my lips with Morphe's lip liner in Bite Me. It is this beautiful brown color, and I'm just gonna overdraw my lips a little bit. Put on your lips, boo. And finally, let's finish off with some Dolce Caramello right at the center of the lips, girl. Yes. And this is the final look. I know, I know. I made sure that I made the skin look seamlessly easy for everyone to do. It's literally just two highlighters and however you contour is how you would contour. I just wanted to make sure that I was glowing in the dark. And for the eyes, I wanted to keep it simple as well because it's the ghost of Christmas present. Yes, it's okay to be extra, so why not? My head piece is from an old video from my Beauty Guru series, which will be linked down below, just saying. My Jeffree Star one, and I just spray painted it gold, as you can see with my purple hair, and I just slapped on some glitter, and there it <laughs> Do you see this? Like seriously. But thank you guys so much for coming back and supporting my channel. You guys are the best. I have huge news to share with you uh, later on this year and I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have in store for you. It's been nothing but blessings all around. Though I may be super new to YouTube, I, I still love the experience of filming and coming up with new ideas, finding ways to make it easier for people to get glamorous and basically beauty on the budget. Okay, well with that being said, happy, happy holidays and enjoy, all right? Have fun. Till next time guys, peace, love and cupcakes, bye.